All right. Uh, today is our final video on uh, three boat team racing exercises uh, before we switch to 2v2. Now, I'm going to warn you guys, after this, things are going to get a lot more complicated and a lot more technical. Um, and I you know, hope you guys will ask a lot of questions um, to kind of guide your learning and don't just kind of like listen, listen and not try and apply it. Right. So um, anyway, this is the last one. It's an extremely important concept as we kind of step into uh, team racing with four boats. Uh, and it is called Pig in the Back. So let's hop right into it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So pig in the back, it's two boats slowing one boat. And just like all our other pig drills, right? Uh, if the order, you know, you should rotate the order every once in a while. So the team should change. Um, but this is, unlike the other pig exercises, this is not a drill for changing the order of the race. Uh, this is a drill with the goal of slowing the pig as much as humanly possible, okay? That's the only goal, slow the pig as much as possible. Okay, so let's talk about it upwind. Um, this is usually set around mark four. Uh, and there's a couple situations where you really need it, which I will kind of talk about uh, in our 2v2 videos and our 3v3 videos. Um, but basically we have the pinner and the slower. The slower is would be the one in this situation. And the pinner would be the two or just like you know, the second boat in that pair. What we want to do basically is start to slow and even work high as the, the pinner, right? And we want to basically let the other uh the, the pig get to lure of us right and so we're going to kind of round the mark um round the mark like so and what I, it's going to end up looking like is something like this right in light air this is incredibly effective i mean this boat can't tack out because they're pinned they're getting crazy bad air kind of dumped on them. You know, sometimes you can get a little bit closer if you want to give them more bad air. Um, and it's an awesome thing to do. Um, and you set it around Mark IV, and then you're you're kind of here, right? And it's really great. It works incredibly well. Um, this is just so vital to know, right? So you kind of let the pig get parallel with you as the pinner or the second boat in line. And then you round the mark, and you'll kind of set up into this wonderful slowing position. Right. It's really hard for them to get out of there. Now, um, you know, what do we do as the pig? Well, we got to be slippery. Right. Just like any time we're pushing, we got to you know, be going up and down. And eventually we're going to be able to land that perfect dip and tack. And we're going to be able to tack out and duck the pinner. Right. Which is great. That's exactly what we want. So what do we do? Well, now we got to reset the double team. And this this is what the pig wants. This is not what we want. So now we will basically switch roles and the pinner is now going to drop, try and try to drop down in front and the slower is going to try to drop down in front and they now become, you know, the roles reverse basically. Uh, and the slower becomes the pinner and the pinner becomes the slower, right? So it's pretty straightforward. Um, now, a lot of the times this actually won't work and they won't be able to get over the top. And now you're just sailing fast, right? And that's exactly what we want. So uh, our keys basically are we cannot allow the other team's boat to tack um, on the, you know, when we are the in doing the double team. Um, but uh, as the pig, we really want to tack. Okay, so sorry, that was not... Not coming out quite how I wanted. Um, downwind, how do we do it? Well, it's a conveyor belt, right? We have kind of a bumper and an insurance. And what having two boats does essentially is the bumper can be way more aggressive because if they, you know, say they over bump and, you know, they push, 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 doing a great job bumping and, you know, they break and somehow, I don't know, big puff, they catch a big puff, they get down the front. This whole time, the insurance has just been sailing fast, right? And now the conveyor belt continues and the insurance is going to come up uh, and go ahead and bump again, right? And while one boat is bumping, the other boat is sailing fast and we just continue. The other way we can do it um, is to kind of both hit them together, but this is a little bit riskier. 
Uh, basically, one boat is the primary, you know, same thing, primary bumper, and one boat is the insurance. So say they're, they're the bumper. The insurance's job basically isn't to bump necessarily, but is to prevent them from tacking and ducking them. We want to do basically all of our double teaming on starboard because the consequences for screwing it up on port are super high, right? They could jab onto starboard and get both of you. Now, what happens if we, you know, we bump too aggressively and we lose it? Like I said, it just becomes pig in the middle, right? And we bump again while they, you know, say we pig in the front them, uh, or sorry, um, front door pass back. And now we're back to the same position, right? One key, try to avoid sitting on teammates air, right? And then the other thing is if you lose your spot, you want to go into just give it up right away uh, and go straight into sitting on their breeze to, you know, all we want to do is slow this boat, right? Even if we lose, we both lose this boat, right? We can still do pig in the front on them um, and, uh, you know, eventually get back to this combination uh, where we can do pig in the back, if that makes sense, okay? So, like, there's, you know, not a lot of consequence, but to start, just make sure one boat, anytime one boat is bumping, the other boat is sailing fast, okay? And we're just alternating bumps between the two boats. Uh, reaching, again, like, you know, the, the lead boat can just do bump and run, so they just line up here, they go high. Now they start to sail, you know, over the top and even break it. Now this boat comes in here and we've kind of, you know, I wouldn't use the term wall because that means something else, but we've created um, a, you know, a stack of boats that's really difficult for them to pass. So even if they break the overlap here and they say, okay, go down. Okay, I go down. Now I've broken it. And they're still contained by the teammate, right? One thing we need to look out for, we really can't let them sail over the top here, okay? So that's why it's always really important to bump and then run, right? Emphasize the run. So now we'll look at, talk about and look at some applications. So this is some real 3v3 team racing right here. Pretty cool. We're getting into that eventually, right? So this combination is a one, four, five versus two, three, six, which is uh, one of the most exciting and interesting um, kind of interactions in all of team racing and what we're going to have is we're going to have the two and three uh are basically the what am i trying to say the four and the five are trying to build a gap here they're trying to build a gap and the uh two and the three are trying to neutralize the gap right to con condense the race and bring all of these boats together right um so what they're going to do is because these boats um are on different ladder rungs, we need to bring these two boats to the same ladder rung. And how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to double team this boat here. And we're going to slow, 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 slow. Once the opponents uh, are on the same ladder rung, then we're going to split the banana. Split the banana. And we are going to go and pass back our teammate and get us to a two, three, four. Um, now, this gets you know more complicated when you get the one involved, da, 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 da. But that's basically the the basic application of a pig in the back would be to condense a um, one four five. Okay, so hopefully this all made sense to you. Um, hope you like enjoyed the format. I know it's not on a board, but maybe this was a little bit clearer for you. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.